Hello, and welcome back to Drone Tech Loses His Mind Thanks to State Media Gaslighting. So anybody who's paying attention right now can see that the Democrat Party and their state media are engaged in a strategy to do two things in order to secure their power for the foreseeable future. One, demonizing and ultimately criminalizing their political opposition by turning them into essentially domestic terrorists and then using that to arrest and imprison them. And two, changing the voting laws to secure their one-party rule for the foreseeable future. In regards to that, today I want to talk about Joy Reid over at MSNBC. Now, she's not an aberration, but I do like to focus on the propagandists that I see to be the most egregious threats to our country. But first, if you ever wondered why I look so good at the age of 42, take 30 seconds to hear about this special offer for my viewers. If you're familiar with collagen and its role in aging, then you probably know that its production decreases 10% in our bodies every decade. Users, including myself, experience a more youthful appearance, decreased wrinkles, and smoother skin within days of taking this amazing multi-collagen. It promotes effective anti-aging through the use of five types of high quality collagen mixed into one. Try it today for 51% off by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link below. Make sure to do it within the next 24 hours and get 51% off. Americans for Prosperity is still going along with its other partners in the Koch network waging a behind-the-scenes effort to stop progressive priorities like the For the People Act and launching a Tea Party version 2.0 campaign to target President Biden's infrastructure plan. Whining about spending and taxes, targeting lawmakers from both parties. Okay, what's the problem there? Isn't that exactly what democracy is? When you get elected, you're always going to have opposition and dissent who try to stand in the way of your agenda because they don't agree with you. As if only Democrats are allowed to resist when they're out of power. It just goes to show how for the next four years, anybody who stands in the way of Joe Biden is going to be attacked as a racist, a monster, a domestic terrorist, or whatever insane label they can attach to their opposition. And by the way, aren't the Koch brothers anti-Trump? And didn't Joy Reid just admit there that they're targeting representatives from both parties? I'm that nerd. I watch C-SPAN and I have seen your presentations with charts about big money and its influence on our politics. I am obsessed with this. Sorry to interrupt again, but she's not that obsessed with dark money and politics because she's talking to Sheldon Whitehouse, who's deeply involved in dark money, just as long as it's helping to advance Democrat agendas. Well, the Koch brothers and a couple of other creepy right-wing Republican billionaires. You look like a creepy ass cracker. Okay. Let me make sure we got that creepy ass cracker. cracker. Yeah have basically built out what in the intelligence community you'd call a massive covert operation. There's something else about their exchange that I found nefarious and wanted to point out, and that's the language that they use to describe their political opposition. This is yet another disturbing example of a Democrat and his state media demonizing their political opposition and painting them as domestic terrorists. Notice how he refers to intelligence to track down these covert operations. Now, I don't have the actual clip. It ended before this happened. But a little later, he also said, quote, that Democrats were going to war against these conservative groups that they disagree with using, quote, the full power of government like an air force of, like, truth and light and exposure and transparency and showing who these rascals are. They've been pounding that drum for years so that when they do start arresting, imprisoning, and likely worse to their political opposition, meaning us, then at least half the country will think it's perfectly fine, when in reality it's Russian levels of authoritarianism. If you think I'm completely nuts, just listen to what this former FBI assistant director said quite openly on MSNBC, promoting the arrest of his political opponents and even going as far as to call for the imprisonment of elected representatives assistant director called Frank Figaluzzi explained the other day on MSNBC. The goal is to round up people who dissent against the regime and throw them into solitary, and that's including members of Congress. Watch this. What have we learned from our experience with international terrorism? In order to address that problem, arresting low-level operatives is merely a speed bump, not a roadblock. In order to really tackle terrorism, and this time domestically, you've got to attack and dismantle the, the, the command and control element of a terrorist group. That may mean people sitting in Congress right now. Him and Kristen Cinema, another sort of 
you know, surprise, conservative Democrat. I don't think that's how she ran. Connect the dots a little bit. Uh, Heritage Action, which has long been a part of the Coke dark money network, was the group that was caught recently with the clip from their fundraiser saying how they were anonymously funding voter suppression activities in all these Republican states, that sometimes the Republican legislators don't even know it's us, and that they work through what they ominously called sentinels in these places to hide their role. You had Leonard Leo, who was, he jumped out and he jumped to something called the Honest Elections Project, which does, guess what? Dark money funded voter suppression and which, by the way, if you do the corporate links, it's related to the Judicial Education Project, which is related to the Judicial Crisis Network. Oh, I guess conspiracy theories are also different when Democrats do it. Notice that at no point during this interview does Joy Reid ask him about any of his use of dark money. This guy, Sheldon Whitehouse, is a well-known proponent and user of dark money, when it can be used to advance Democrat Party's march to authoritarianism. But did the Democrat Party propagandist Joy Reid ask him about any of that? Of course not. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Please, on your way out, hit that like button and let let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.